aqui. Oh. Do, do the one down. Down, left two. That one. <laughs> this is gonna be literally... This is gonna be funny. There you go. There we go. It's got the PNG background. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> The spookiest thing is not taking off the background. That's the scariest part. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm ready. Okay, you ready? I'm trying to set the mood. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Let me know if this is a little obnoxious or if this is good. I need. I need a. Uh, some, oh, I need some feedback. Can you guys hear the music okay? And am I too close to the mic? Because we're about to get deep into McDonald's lore here in about <laughs> two seconds. Pretty sure this is what they train all their employees on first day. So guys, this creepy pasta. <clears throat> I'm partying and peeing at the same time. <laughs> We're getting grease deep into this McDonald's lore. <laughs> God, okay. Uh, okay. This uh, creepypasta is called McDonald's Girl. Do you have the creator of it? Can you shout out the... Um, um, what's up, War Drinker? How's it going, dude? Um, by the No Leaf Gamer. Okay. Okay. Grease deep. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. About once or twice a week, I stop at McDonald's on the way to work to get breakfast. I really like the sausage burritos they have. Was you right That's literally your order. That is my order. Okay. <laughs> here we go. <clears throat> All right. So I usually order two of those with hot sauce and, and, a, and a medium cup of coffee. Dude, this is me. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Try to sound. I really like the sausage burritos. <laughs> it's so hard. Okay. Relatable story. Right, right. This, this is actually a, a, a piece on my life. <laughs> This is my first chapter, my biography. <laughs> On one particular Friday morning, I placed my order like I normally do. When I pulled up to the first window, the drive through cashier who took my debit card was especially perky and said, Thank you. Have a nice day. In an overly enthusiastic way, more so than someone just having a bubbly personality should be. It almost sounded sarcastic, but still polite. So I figured that I was just seeing something that wasn't there. Dun dun dun. <clears throat> the orange, orange hub title. All right, here we go. There was one really odd thing though. When she handed me my debit card back, as she was thanking me, it felt hot to the touch. I had just handed it to her a few seconds before, and it was only out of my possession long enough for the cashier to charge my card for my breakfast and hand it back to me. I'd never experienced anything like that before, but I thought I must still just be making something out of nothing. I put the card back into my wallet and forgot about it. This pissed on my card. <laughs> this is literally men not in a story. <laughs> just a guy overthinking a completely normal interaction. The hot card. <laughs> <laughs> then she said, "It'll be two ninety nine And I thought, "Ooh, that's that hot." Really? <laughs> is that really the price, or am I overthinking this? I must be making nothing out of something. Or something out of nothing. She knows. Okay. <laughs> Card details were stolen and put online. 
now my bank account's hot. All right. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> here we go. Here we go. We just, you know, we got to take a break in between the spookiness. So. What did the other person say? Farting and farting and pissing at the same time. Uh, okay. Here we go. <clears throat> uh. Wow, this person is just jumping around fast food. Later that day, during my lunch break, I decided to eat a Taco Bell. <laughs> they just have a sausage burrito. So <laughs> through the menu. Also relatable. <laughs> <laughs> I went through the drive-thru and ordered a $5 box. I oh my god, we just made this whole person's order. <laughs> Dude, this dude is stalking me and writing a story about me. <laughs> I had completely forgotten about breakfast that morning, but when I handed my debit card to the drive through cashier at Taco Bell, he reacted as if it were hot. Uh, I immediately remembered what had happened that morning. The Taco Bell employee didn't say anything about it, but carefully handed it back to me by its edge. Interesting. I thought to myself, yeah, like, dude, there's pee <laughs> dude, this, this is covered in piss. Take this back. <laughs> um, Maybe I'm making something out of nothing. <laughs> yeah, but carefully handed it back to me by the edge. <laughs> the Taco Bell employee reacting as if I'm hot. <laughs> it's like, man, that's just like, Phew. damn. Okay. <clears throat> thought to myself I was really imagining some strange things that I should probably go to bed early that night to get caught up on sleep because that's the problem okay <clears throat> here we go your card is so hot huh? <laughs> why does my taco bell sauce taste so <laughs> I couldn't take this scary ass story without the comic relief <laughs> Hit me with that hot credit card double gluck gluck combo. <laughs> yeah, I need to catch up on sleep and pull everybody's like, yeah, not the 12 pounds of fast food. <laughs> it's the sleep that's the issue, not the just debilitating fucking calories I'm gaining every day. <laughs> oh okay. Okay, here we go. I gotta try to get through this thing. <laughs> Gotta get that glug glug. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, man, I wish I had some water. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm st oh my god. <laughs> okay. 40 tacos later. Dude, I can't get through this story. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. <clears throat> alright. Back to scare. <clears throat> so, this person, yeah, I know. I know. I'm laughing so hard. Okay, this person can't get caught up on sleep, so they're going to try to do that. <clears throat> Jesus. It wasn't until the next day that I started to actually get concerned. When I woke up, I was reading the news on, I was reading the news on a local new. that's a weird sentence, on a local news website and saw the headline that read, Taco Bell employee dies in bizarre accident. Did he fall down a bunch of stairs? Did the credit card burn his hand? Okay. Whew, I clicked on the article <clears throat> and there was, oh there I am, and there was a picture of the guy that I had handed my debit card to the lunch the day before. According to the article, he had tripped and fallen face first onto one of the steamers, oh my god, which was active and hot. The article. Oh no, hot! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> the article reported that the witnesses said that they saw him fall and scream as his face hit the surface of the steamer. Which makes sense. Makes sense when you hit the steamer with your face. When you start burning. Okay. <clears throat> he fell on the stairs after time after time after time. <laughs> A man got a steamer. <laughs> they interview someone they're like, have you ever seen Mario 64 when you keep going up the stairs? Like that, but down the stairs. Right. You wouldn't stop. Steamer, uh, I'm assuming that, that what they mean is um, like a flat top grill, which I don't know why they couldn't just say that. It's like they're almost trying to get around saying the word grill for steamer. some reason. It's like someone who like steam <clears throat> close to that like little steam gun, just like laying out. Was the steamer from Cleveland? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question, Captain. It's a grill. 
It, dude, yeah, a grill is a grill. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Okay, so he's screaming, greasy fell off he's, the steamer. He's screaming, he bounced his face off his steamer. They said he put his hands on the counter to push himself up away from it, but began screaming that he was stuck and could not pull away. By the time his coworkers helped pull him off, they said half of his face had completely burned through. Ooh, uh, two face. Uh, they said that the steamer was actually glowing orange with heat and that it was far hotter than it was supposed to be able to get. The heat and burns were so intense that the employee died soon after. Dun dun dun. Kind of weird the heat how hot things are. I know, it's like they've had to do, like in depth describe how hot stuff is. It was so hot. Steam would not kill you. It was so hot he mega nut. Sick burn. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Guys, focus. Someone died. <laughs> Be respectful of the chat, okay? Okay. So here we go. <clears throat> As I read the online article, I sense a sense of dr steamy. <laughs> mm, steamy. A sense of dread set in, but I kept telling myself that logically, it was just some weird coincidence. Uh, I remembered, though, that I had used my debit card two more times on more fast food since then. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. Here we go. Wants to buy a wants to buy a DVD at Walmart and wants to get gas after that. Can anyone in chat guess what DVD this guy must have bought at Walmart? <clears throat> A DVD. <laughs> I bought a DVD right before I fell on the steamer. <laughs> How many times does this bitchy fast food? Oh. Using your debit card for gas. Nacho Libre. Oh my god. McDonald's <clears throat> poor. All right, here we go. I had bought Fast and Furious Six. <laughs> it's the middle of the road, <laughs> fast and furious. Man. I hadn't paid attention when handling when handing my debit card to the cashiers, but now that I had read the news story about the Taco Bell employee, I started trying to remember if either of them had acted strangely. Hmm, strange. Five bucks a gallon. Acted hotly. I mean, strangely. <laughs> like we can afford gas, holy crap. I know, right? I used my money to get gas afterwards. AKA, I opened a second mortgage and went to the gas station. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. About that time, I realized that I had forgotten to buy a couple items while I was at Walmart, and since it was a Saturday, I didn't have to work. Uh, this guy's, for, like, the way he's framing this story is really odd. I figured I'd go back to get the rest of the items I needed. When I, I just bought a DVD, it's like groceries too, but maybe I'll skip this DVD. Yeah, yeah. dude yeah. goes to Walmart and he's like, "Man, ah, oh, the new Avengers looks so good. <laughs> I gotta buy that." And then he leaves and just he's thinking, "Man, I can't wait to get home and watch this." And he's like, "Fuck, I forgot groceries. <laughs> well, I'll go back when I get Taco Bell tomorrow." <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, since it was Saturday, I didn't have to work. I figured I'd go back to get the rest of the items I needed. When I arrived at Walmart, there was a police line in front of both entrances. Um, with several police cars and a fire truck in the parking lot. All of them with their lights flashing. There were a lot of Walmart employees standing around in the parking lot. That sounds pretty reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like what people would do. <clears throat> and I asked one of them what had happened. She said that the manager had not given them much information, but that the rumor was that one of the employees had been found hanging by the neck in the back stock room. Fearing the worst, I asked if it was a man or a woman and asked... I don't think that it was just a woman. You're like, oh, well... <laughs> Oh, I gotta catch up and change. Did I follow the stairs? You forgot to use your <laughs> The credit card memes. Oh, thank God. It was just a woman. Okay, good. We're good. 
Uh, fearing the worst, I asked if it was a man or a woman, and asked, uh... <laughs> woman, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> so dramatic. It's just way too dramatic. Oh, was she on her period? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, alright, guys, she's PMSing. It's not a big deal. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, where are we? Alright, and asked what the employee looked like. Uh, the worker that I was talking to must have had thought it was strange that I wanted to know what the person looked like. But she told me that it was a middle-aged woman. Uh, even better. She described what the woman looked like, and it was an exact match for that person that had rung me up for my items the night before. When she said that the woman's name was Susan, I knew it was the same person because I remembered having noticed her name because of some glittery sticker she had on her name tag. Stupid Susan. Just stupid Susan. Oh, 25 words. <laughs> <laughs> What's the big deal, guys? Why is anyone even here? Middle aged? Dude, she's practically already dead. Basically put her in the cop and have an elephant stamp on it. <laughs> ja 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 woman. Alright, here we go. But then okay, so say okay, this card is killing people or making them kill themselves. Why aren't you killing yourself? Because you're touching this card to give it to them, unless you like hold out your wallet and have them pull out the card. <laughs> it's like <laughs> wallet roulette. If you touch the wrong one, you're dead. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Susan, you insufferable. <laughs> Too hot for the card. You insufferable <laughs> woman. Oh, uh, you know what? She was middle aged, a woman, and named Susan. I think we're good here. <laughs> the writing was on the wall for her at this yeah. point. Wallet hot potato. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> at that point, I was genuinely freaked out. Um. Not like ironically freaked out, but genuinely freaked out. I immediately decided to go to the gas station to buy more gas. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a gas station taquito to keep my fuel. <laughs> I was buying the taquito and I pulled out my hot card. <laughs> and then what am I doing? I don't have the money for this, so I went to the bank. <laughs> Took out more money to get more gas, to get more taquitos. <laughs> I don't think you did. I haven't slept in a bed. I gotta go. Fuck, I'm at three quarters of a tank. I need more gas. <laughs> I'm kind of thirsty. I gotta go to Taco Bell and drink the gas. Dude, yeah, Polar Bear Bunny makes a point. When does McDonald's enter this fucking story? Because it was the beginning. It was the sausage burritos. It, she activated the heat. That, yeah, I, okay, so I guess McDonald's is kind of part of it, but this is the McDonald's girl. <laughs> more gas. <laughs> the sausage burritos. <laughs> How can you forget the most important part? All of them. <laughs> what happened uh, if it was just one and you did two? <laughs> Ronald looks pissed. By the way, over here he looks mad. All right, all right, here we go. <clears throat> Jumping for joy, Ronald McDonald. Oh my God, uh. I haven't laughed this hard in a long time. <laughs> I need more gas. I'm almost out. I need a taquito, probably a drink. This guy's just like crying with all his food in his hand. Probably get a Big Mac. <laughs> It's like those when you give a mouse a cookie, like rolling things. It's like if I get a taquito, then I'm gonna need gas. And then when I get home, I'm gonna need to sleep. And then when I get to sleep, I'm gonna be. Hungry. And then I'm gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna see a woman. I'm gonna think of Susan. And then it's all gonna go down from there. I have to go buy a DVD for Walmart <laughs> <laughs> to make sure I can watch the movie. Oh God, dude. Okay, okay. <laughs> Susan. All right, all right. Where were we? I don't oh even remember. Gosh. Okay. At uh, this point, oh, I merely decided to go to the gas station where I had used my card to get gas the night before. So he didn't. He did get gas. Yeah, okay. Oh, so that I wouldn't appear obvious, I made up a story saying that the employee from the night before had given me too much change when I paid for my gas. Um, when I got to the gas station, I asked the person working at the counter if there was any way I could get in touch with the person who was working the previous night and gave them my made-up story about being given too much change. 
Uh, the worker told me that the work they're using the word worker way too much. <laughs> <laughs> the worker told me that the worker from the night before wasn't there. Ooh, fucking my 70 year old mom's name is Susan. <laughs> <laughs> worker, person who works. <laughs> they put that in parentheses in case we don't know. A steamer, they'll know what that is. <laughs> steamer. <laughs> steamer, a genuine grill. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, the worker had told Somebody me coming in, be like, they gave me too much change, and they're like, well, you can get, you can just give me that change. Like, I, I need to talk to the person who gave yeah. me. Yeah, I got a penny more than I need. I need to talk to them. It's like I need to speak to the chef <laughs> who made me the Big Mac. <clears throat> All right, let's see. I need to talk to someone. <laughs> she has a sparkly name tag <laughs> with the stars on it. <laughs> uh. Okay, the wor the worker told me that the worker from the night before wasn't there, but strange wasn't working was I did work oh. the night before. I was using work a bunch. Of gotcha, but in fact, is a worker and does work here. <laughs> uh, he, he was supposed to have worked the whole night shift. He told me that he was the other employee's morning relief shift, uh, but that when he arrived this morning, the previous night's worker was nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. He said he figured that he had left early and was going to report it to a manager, but hadn't yet. Dun, dun, dun. I thanked him for his time, gave him a dollar out of my pocket to repay, I guess that's in quote, repay the change back to the store, even though that hadn't happened. <laughs> what? I'm like, like, sure that you know that I made up this story. I hadn't actually been overpaid. That didn't happen. It needs to be known that I did this, but it wasn't true. Right? I thought this was the debit card guy. I know, right? How does he have cash all of a sudden? How much cash does this guy have? When he hands over the dollar, he realizes the dollar's hot. He's like, nah. <laughs> morning relief. Oh, that's my every morning. Um, oh, man. Also, why is this guy throwing cash in this economy? Yeah, I was gonna say, why is this guy throwing a dollar around all willy nilly? Does he? He obviously I buy two sausage burritos at McDonald's. Oh, dude, nice. Post in the Discord. <laughs> oh man, all right. It's like, wouldn't you use that dollar to go buy more gas, or yeah, like another taquito? <laughs> I'll take uh, things that didn't <laughs> happen for one thousand. <laughs> <laughs> funny that daily double catch Nintendo in the te in the text here that I'm reading in quotes it says even though that hadn't happened like it, <laughs> it wanted me to the reader to remind themselves to oh yeah that didn't happen them sausage burritos used to be a dollar it's bullshit in this day and age all right <laughs> remember when McDonald's was we're cheap almost done. we're almost done guys I'm oh, kind of what okay wait hold on don't have you read any more of it yet no. What are, everyone take their guesses in chat of what you think is gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Man, I'm kinda sad that this is almost done. This is a lot of fun. We got like two whole paragraphs left. We got two whole paragraphs. What so given the context, what is gonna happen? I think that it's gonna tie in somehow to Biden. That Biden <laughs> <laughs> Poisoning debit cards to control you. Oh my god. It's a fear-based ploy by it's the president. A, it's a democratic liberal agenda. <laughs> Them sausage burritos. <laughs> An evil clown jumps out of the forest and kills you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like it just Wells takes a Fargo just shaking. He's gonna marry Susan. <laughs> Man hasn't mentioned McDonald's like once. It's the McD like McDonald's saw the creepy pass and slapped him with a cease and desist. <laughs> so instead of McDonald's grill, he has to steamer. That's so good. What is that kid makes Game Boy out of cardboard to play Mario? <laughs> Nintendo so inspired they send him a letter in the mail for a cease and desist for two million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> It's, oh, McDonald's, all you can eat breakfast? Wells Fargo. Oh, okay. oh man. Okay, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. What's your guess, Marsh? My guess, without reading it, is he's involved with all these people dying all the time, and he's seeing all these people die, that eventually he's going to get, like, dragged into 
like people thinking he's killing everybody because mm. he's always at the goddamn gas station all the time <laughs> he like gets out of the taco bell line just gets right back in the back of the taco bell line. you're always at the fucking gas station <laughs> you don't need this much gas <laughs> all right i'll check it i'll check it right after the story's over this dude is just always at the fucking gas station all right or he could easily just do a dollar and switch to cash and never use that credit card ever again. Right. Problem solved. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to really get in full uh, creepypasta mode here. Here we go. <laughs> After all of this, I decided that it was time to go back to <laughs> McDonald's. Okay. <laughs> We're oh, finally... We're we're finally getting back to McDonald's, but it's oh, his yeah. debit card. If it takes seven days, how can he get all this fast food <laughs> needs? Think about the fast food. Fucking McDonald's. Finally, we're getting back to the core lore here. <clears throat> okay, so I'm sorry, can you reread that sentence? Yep, yep. After all of this, I decided that it was time, finally time to go back to the McDonald's store. When I got there, I asked for a manager and asked about the girl that was working in the drive through the previous morning when I had bought my two sausage burritos. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking McDonald's. I described her, but the manager just gave me a strange look. He How told me. Can you recreate that strange look? He gave me a strange look. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, thank you. He told me that there was only one female worker the previous morning and that she was quite a bit older than the girl that I had described. So she's older than Susan? She might as well be dead too. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we care about these women? <laughs> Please upload this to YouTube. I might. I might do that. <laughs> it's only one Susan. Justice for Susan. <laughs> Justice for Susan. It's important how we it's important we know he got the two burritos. Yeah, totally. I that's I can't stress enough. That's a really, really And a medium coffee. He in, dropped the coffee, but the burritos. Yep. Not caring about that damn coffee, it's just the burritos. And before the manager immediately calls the police. I could see Don't it. suck our employees. <laughs> I'll call the police. Stop. Like the most logistic way possible, sir. You're always fucking here. I, I'm gonna have to report you. You keep breathing onto your credit card to make it hot before you hand it to the girl. Like, please stop. It's really weird. You're making them uncomfortable. It's my morning routine. Well, it's fucking weird. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna reread a couple sentences here. Okay, um, I described her, but the manager just gave me a strange look. And then told me that there was only one female worker the previous morning and that she was quite a bit older than the girl I had described. He said that no other female workers were working in the time that working was supposed to happen at the workplace. <laughs> at the work store, that is McDonald's. <laughs> at the work store. At work Donald's. Um, Sir, why are you a good trench coat? <laughs> <laughs> No way. The workplace? It literally says that? No, I, I came up with that. I came up with that on the spot. I'm trying to be... A little ad lib we add in here and there. I'm, I'm trying to break the scariness with a little bit of comedic humor. <clears throat> here we go. Uh, he said that no other female workers were there in the restaurant at that time. That the, the older woman, oh, older woman who was working there was currently cleaning tables in the dining room. Um, I turned around to look, and the woman I saw was much, much older, and had a completely different hair color and style than the girl who had taken my hot ass debit card the day before. <clears throat> so hot the manager also said that there were no employees working there who matched the description i gave him it's like yeah you told us that like two sentences before <laughs> yeah what scariness could possibly happen with a story that revolves around mcdonald's dude it's pretty creepy i don't know i'm i'm shaking <laughs> comedic humor as opposed to non-comedic humor exactly Female, he uses loosely because she's like 30. Right. Yeah, she's basically dead. Hot, juicy, fat debit card. All right, here we go. 
Um, I turned around to look, and the woman I saw was much older, completely different, blah, blah, blah. No employees were working there under that description. I rushed home and cut up that fucking debit card and threw it away. An hour later, when I opened my wallet, it was right back in the card holder where I normally kept it. Hot as fuck. It was fucking flaming, dude. <laughs> this card set my wallet on fire. Insert the chip, Bobby! <laughs> <laughs> okay, last pair. Let's go. Oh, man. You know, you have to insert it three times to swipe, right? Okay, there we go. Since then, this is the last... This is the last paragraph. <clears throat> Since then, I've tried burning the card, putting it in a dumpster several miles from home, and just plain scratching it up. No matter what I do, it keeps returning in perfect condition when i sleep it's staring at me over my bed um that burning the <laughs> <laughs> that fire adding fire to fire that'll definitely put it out scratching it like maybe the magnetic strip <laughs> i don't yeah, get like a little massage <laughs> you like take a paper clip you're like this will show you <laughs> no matter what i do it keeps returning in perfect condition when i sleep I often think that I can see the faint glow of a low humming sound coming from my wallet. <laughs> but when I get out of bed and pick the wallet up, it just stops. I sometimes think I see the over-enthusiastic smile of the girl from McDonald's in front of me in the dark, and it often keeps me awake at night. I find myself shivering in the dark, wondering what's going on. I've tried looking for that girl everywhere I go, but I can't find her. I keep going to all the fast food spots every day. I keep going to Culver's and she's never there. She was flirting with me. The faint glow, <laughs> the faint glow of a humming sound. I know, yeah, it's weird. I don't get it. Overly enthusiastic. Okay. She liked me. <laughs> Culver's. Keep going to fucking like, taco. What a non problem, right? Like, just use a different card. Like, so yeah. it's just like always there, but it's like, yeah, use a different card. So, this one is burning and melting my other cards, but I can just keep getting new other cards. Some person named The No Leaf Gamer wrote this. All right, I'm, I've got a couple sentences left. Here we go. Commercially, don't, don't cut me. <clears throat> I've tried looking for that girl everywhere I go, but I can't find her. I keep seeing her face, her odd smile. I just can't find her. I feel like I should report this to someone, but I'm afraid they'll think I'm somehow involved. The end. How funny. I feel like I should report this, but then I'm afraid they're not gonna know I like two sausage burritos. <laughs> I don't want anyone knowing I eat at McDonald's. <laughs> ah, I, I liked it. I think that was a silly one. That, was that made me one. laugh. That was a good one. I need to do these more often. That mm -hmm. was really fun. See you, polar bear bunny. And I gotta get out of here. Ugh. Get another fucking wall. Yeah, like it's just <clears throat> not an issue, I feel like. Right. Polar bear bunny, thank you again for the raid. I really appreciate it. Welcome everyone from her stream. Um, And yeah, what a story. <laughs> if I have my affinity for sausages. <laughs> and uh, have a great night. How can I keep eating my 5,000 calorie diet if I report this? Right. Man, we got to do this more often. What a story. That was that was something.